In this lesson, the aorist passive indicative, we're going to be forming, obviously, the aorist passive, so no longer I sent, but I was sent, simple action, as opposed to I was being sent, I was sent. Uh, <clears throat> but what's different about this from the present or imperfect passives is that we're going to use an entirely new stem. So now we need to use, for the aorist passive, the sixth principal part. And that is the aorist passive stem. So uh, on this sixth principal part, we're then going to add a series of endings. Now it is aorist, it is a past tense, so we're going to use our epsilon augment, and then we're going to use the sixth principal, principal part, and then our endings. Now these endings are a little bit different. Uh, these new passive endings, which are only used for the aorist passive, are actually uh, active endings. It's very strange. Uh, you'll notice they look a little bit like the imperfect of ame. So the endings are ain, ace, a, amen, eta, asan. So these are actually active secondary endings uh, that we're looking at here. Sigma in the second person, men, te, san, so remember that these endings alone are used for the aorist passive. It is counterintuitive, uh, but that's uh, sometimes what happens in Greek. So we take these endings and we add them onto the sixth principal part. So if we take a look at luo, sixth principal part is eleuthane. Our stem is going to be luth. We add our epsilon augment. Take a look over here, epsilon augment, stem luth, and ending aim. Eleuthane, eleuthes, eleuthe, eleuthemen, Eluthete, eluthesan. One thing to keep in mind when you're reading Greek, uh, not when you're composing Greek, that's going to be a, a, little, a little trickier, uh, but that most aorist passive endings, most six principal parts, the stem ends in this theta. So if you see a stem that ends in theta, that's most likely what you're doing there. Uh, so theta plus the endings. So eluthein, eluthes, eluthe, eluthemen, eluthete, eluthesan. Uh, now that theta is not always there, uh, and sometimes the stem has mutated when the, stem, when the, the theta is added. Uh, there are all sorts of things. You can't always predict what that sixth principal part is, uh, but this is how you basically conjugate it. Uh, now I said that the theta is usually your marker. Sometimes it doesn't show up, like in blopto to harm. Look at that, eblabane. Right, there's our sixth principal part, no theta, but uh, You've got your epsilon augment, your stem, and your endings. So eblabain, eblabes, eblabe, eblabainan, eblabete, eblabesan. So the endings are going to stay consistent. Some people will call these strong or second aorist passives. I don't necessarily find that uh, this is all that useful when you're learning Greek um, to distinguish, but uh, that's what you have. This lesson is going to cover the aorist passive indicative. So instead of I was sent, or I was, or I sent, rather, instead of I sent, it was I was sent in the aorist. Now, unlike the present or imperfect uh, passives, the aorist passive is going to use the sixth principal part. So it's still a passive, it's still a past tense. We're still going to use our epsilon augment. We're going to use now our sixth principal part, and we're going to use a different set of endings. Now these endings, I'll show you here, ain, ace, a, amen, a to ason, these are actually active voice. You'll notice they look a lot like the, the imperfect of to be, with a few exceptions. Uh, they certainly look like the imperfect of amen. Uh, over here in the, in the plural. They're active voice, but when combined with the sixth principal part, the aorist passive stem, they form the passive. So, let's take a look at this. We've got luo, free, 
there's our sixth principal part. Uh, a lot of six principal parts are going to have its stem is going to end in theta. We're going to add our, so we have our augment, our stem, and our endings. Eleuthane, eleuthes, eleuthe, eleuthenon, eleuthete, eleuthesan. I was freed, you were freed, he, she, it was freed. Now, not all stems end in theta in the sequential part. A few, like blopto, don't have a theta at all, a blobane. But they conjugate exactly the same way. Epsilon augment, sixth principal part, and ending. Eblabane, eblabase, eblabe. Eblabemen, eblabete, eblabesan. Some people will refer to these as strong or second aorist passives. Uh, when you're learning Greek, I don't find it all that, that useful to, dis to make this distinction, uh, because unlike the strong and weak aorists of the, uh, in the active voice, these don't conjugate any differently. You've got the same endings, you've got your augment, you use the sixth principal part, uh, there's not really a distinction there. Um, linguistically, perhaps there is, uh, but for our purposes, there's not. So take a look. Remember that sixth principal part now is very useful. Uh, it's going to form our errors passive once you add these particular endings onto it.